With patch 1.05 for Cyberpunk 2077, it looks like SMT has been disabled and performance on AMD Ryzen CPUs has been negatively impacted, so let's go ahead and fix that. Hey, if you enjoy content like this, drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and smash that bell so you never miss another video. Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here, welcome back to the channel and I hope all you Chumbas have been doing well. Recently, I made a video showing you guys how you can potentially boost performance on your Ryzen system by doing a simple hex edit to the Cyberpunk 2077 EXE file. In short, the problem was that the game wasn't taking advantage of SMT on AMD Ryzen CPUs, and this was in some cases negatively impacting performance, because there was poor thread utilization leading to lower CPU usage. But with the hex edit, I saw many users report that they had seen a performance boost, minimums were higher, and the experience overall was just a lot smoother. However, it looks like what the recent patch version 1.05 CDPR has reverted the fix stating the following, AMD SMT optimized default core and thread utilization for 4 core and 6 core AMD Ryzen processors, 8 core, 12 core, and 16 core processors remain unchanged and behaving as intended. This change was implemented in cooperation with AMD and based on tests on both sides indicating that performance improvement only occurs on CPUs with 6 cores or less. Issue with this is that I've had multiple users with 8 core and even 12 core Ryzen CPUs tell me that they did experience a performance boost, so I believe more work and testing needs to be done here. Even on the AMD subreddit, there were people reporting a massive performance improvement applying the hex edit. And you guys can clearly see that in Task Manager, once the hex edit was applied, CPU utilization was more consistent and higher. Though higher doesn't always mean you're going to get better performance, but consistency was key, and this did also alleviate stuttering for a lot of people playing this game. Anyways, whether or not you want to use this hex edit or not, is completely up to you. If you're satisfied with the way the game is performing on your end, hey, that's great, and I'd recommend leaving it alone. I did also even clarify in my previous video that this is a your mileage may vary fix, because while many users did report an increased performance, I've also seen many mentions that nothing changed for them, and even some said that the game performed worse. In that video, I also provided my own benchmark runs, and nothing changed for me as well. But like I said, I was playing at 1440p with some more GPU bound settings, and and the game honestly is just so unpredictable with performance along with other glitches and bugs, your experience can drastically vary depending on the setting and area you're testing. So as for the fix, it's really simple and straightforward. Just like last time, you're going to want to use a program like HXD, which is a free hex editor software that you can use to open up the Cyberpunk 2077 EXE file and edit it. However, this time the line you have to edit is slightly different from the one shown in the previous video, which is why you can't reapply the fix as usual because that entire line was missing so if you go ahead and try to search for that line it's not going to pop up. So for patch 1.05, a user on the AMD subreddit by the name of ISOPRO actually has the correct line. So it's just a matter of copying this line into the hex search function of the program and changing the 75 to an EB, just like last time. Hit save and that's it. Just go ahead, launch Cyberpunk, open up Task Manager or whatever CPU monitoring software you're using and you'll see that SMT will be enabled and you'll see the higher core and thread utilization. Now last time I showed you guys the fix on my Ryzen 7 3800 XT test system, and this time I'm applying the hex edit to my 3900X system, which is my own personal rig. Before the hex edit, you guys can see that patch 1.05 shows us in Task Manager that cores are barely being utilized. After applying the hex edit, the game seems to realize it can take advantage of SMT, which is why you guys see more threads being used. As for performance, I didn't notice any drastic changes, but the game feels smoother and I did notice less stutters. And a lot of times with performance benchmark runs, these issues can't be seen with like raw FPS averages. Like I said before, because of this game's inconsistent behavior, performance can sometimes tank and change depending on the environment and what's going on around you. Like for example, I was playing just yesterday and this was with the unedited patch 1.05 and I was driving on the highway near Corpo Plaza and then all of a sudden my performance just tanked. I had gone from say around 90 FPS average into the 20s and the stuttering was just horrible. This maybe could have happened because there was just a lot more traffic around me, population density was also much higher in that particular area as well. So this game doesn't really have the most consistent performance and it can vary quite dramatically based on where you are and what you're doing. Now I'm not saying that this was due to the fact that SMT was disabled again, but it could have been due to that or it could have been due to a whole bunch of other reasons. This game is pretty poorly optimized in my opinion and 
definitely needs a lot more work. And yeah, I know it does look fantastic, but there are also many other fantastic looking games out there that run much better. But with this fix, hopefully those stuttering and drastic frame drops can be alleviated. I did see some reviewers and outlets posting their testing with the hex edit, and just like with me and many people who left comments on my video or on Reddit, that performance and testing results vary, but just because I didn't really see a drastic performance boost doesn't mean I'm going to write off the fix altogether as placebo and say those people have no idea what they're talking about and if you're experiencing a performance boost then you know you're wrong because my testing doesn't show otherwise. I'm not, I'm not going to do that because I understand that everyone's system is configured differently and therefore performance can vary. As I mentioned before, if you're experiencing performance issues on your Ryzen system then yeah, try this fix, see if it helps. If you're already satisfied with the way your game is performing then just leave it alone i hope you guys found this video to be informative and helpful let me know your thoughts down below check out the video description on ways to support the channel and for my other videos if you guys are interested in more content like this then make sure you subscribe thanks for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next one